Yeah, I'm Vladimir Nierbach and welcome to another video. First timer, go and subscribe to the channel. So with my girlfriend Evelina, we're together uh, managing and this Instagram account talking about diabetes, type 1 diabetes especially. We've been doing it for the past one and a half year and it's going pretty well. We're getting a lot of nice comments and feedback. Always nice to help and motivate and because it's starting to grow a little bit. We kind of want to do more content towards diabetes. So we decided to invest a little bit of money in a GoPro Hero 11. Mostly because it felt like for Alina it's way easier to troll a GoPro because they're pretty simple instead of a DSLR or mirrorless camera. There's too many options, too many settings to keep in mind. Mount it and press one button and you're good to go. So together we decided to go with a GoPro because it's easier for her. I don't know if I need to, but I used to do it. Maybe it's not sponsored, but GoPro, if you see this, please answer my mail. So the reason for the video, I want to see if this actually I know it's sick. it's a great camera. I know it's great like for filming. I know it's great quality of the camera. But I want to see if it's good vlogging or can I do like shoot B-rolls with it? I know you can. I want to try it. I have a GoPro Hero Black Nine uh, since before. I've used it a lot, and I think it gets great quality. But when I compare this to, it's a huge, huge difference in image quality, especially when it comes to a little bit of a darker image when the light is not that good. First off, I'm gonna switch out that camera with this camera. I wanna see how it looks. So let's just switch it over and if I can film it like this and it looks good or if it's just trash. After that, I'm gonna see how I can use it like day to day and like in the everyday you film B-roll, film vlog. It's gonna be fun. So let's switch this camera out. This is a 19 millimeter lens that I'm using. That? Because it's a mirrorless camera, there's some multiplying. So I think it's like a 30 maybe. So it's not like really fit to do vlogging with. It's a little bit too narrow. And so far, seems like I get the whole room. And the great part is with the newer GoPros, there's a little, bit, a little screen on the front side. So I still can see myself. Another thing that's interesting to see if does it create good audio. I don't know if it, this room is the best place to try it out. It's a pretty, pretty echoing room. It's a small room, but it's echoing. Another thing I want to try is the, the light that's on the camera. So I'm going to turn this off. So this is without the, the main light. It's going to click right there. So far it's not, seems like a big difference, but there's no, I can't barely see. It's very strong. Kind of get that ring light effect, I would say. I would say that light is straight on and it's very strong. Like I even have this little diffuser on. And it's just, it's way too strong. Let's see if I can film everyday shorts and let's see how they look. And if I can make a, a decent B-roll, let's do, let's do a B-roll of some sort. That must have been the most epic B-roll you've ever seen. I did my best doing that by myself. Uh, probably gonna look super weird. It's not very glamorous. It's epic, but it's just weird. I love this camera. It's a super effective and can't really mess anything up. There's no real light in here. And the low light ability on the 9 is... It's decent but it's pretty hard to get a good quality of the footage. Let's go for a walk. I need a hard drive and I also need uh, an SD card, like the small a micro SD card. 5K on this GoPro. It's gonna fill up very quickly. I think it's like uh, 68 right now. So I'm gonna switch that out.
いて言ってるみんなやすいスポンジそれだけでそれgame was insane it's the finals in the second league of uh, sweden it's pretty much bigger than the shl final whoever wins will get promoted to to the top league so it was the same being there and it was pretty fun having the camera with me to capture that atmosphere
that was in that arena. So I've been playing around with the GoPro a little bit now. There's some pros and cons. Uh, so I'm just gonna bring up the pros to begin with. The GoPro has always been easy to use. There's two clicks, like you start it and you press record and you're good to go. There's a bunch of presets. I went with the out of the package settings while filming this whole video. For having so much power inside of it, it comes very small it's very light and it's so small so it's easy to bring with you it doesn't take up too much of attention so if you're walking around filming yourself or filming something else it's not a huge dslr camera with a huge mic on and people are looking at what the hell is he doing it's very discreet the gopro comes with an app called quick download all your footage to your phone and take a template and it added all the footage by itself to music and everything so the app takes out the highlight from every clip it's very easy if you're on the go you just download everything to the app and it does the rest for you and you can upload it in just a few minutes i was filming myself with a uh, selfie mode i use 30 frames per second 5k so it shoots in 5k you also have the ability to shoot in 120 120 gives you the opportunity to shoot in 4k 280 it's in 2.7k i didn't try that out i went with the 120 frames per second those epic parts that i knew i wanted to slow down it comes with a 27 megapixel camera it's pretty amazing compared with the size that it comes with but it definitely comes with some calm gopro is not famous for the low light ability so i noticed when i was shooting inside the arena pretty much every time i shot inside with a little bit of a bad lighting the darker part of the image got very noisy because i had the factory settings which gave me pretty high iso and iso on the gopro is it's not the best because you're shooting with a wide angle lens it doesn't give you a lot of uh, the feel uh, so that's one thing to keep in mind when you're filming and it's kind of hard getting that foreground background uh, feeling like depth of feel with that we have the the audio mode i know this room is very bad for doing like a test on if the sound is good or bad because it's very echoing i need to fix that i know but the audio was okay you can work with it i know the gopro is built for action that's why the lens is so wide you want to capture a lot of things in the frame it's not a con but just keep that in mind when you're trying to do like some b-rolls you will get a lot of it luckily you had 5k and 4k which gives you the opportunity to crop it in but keep in mind that with the low light it will be grainy if it's not lit good enough uh, this creator kit that we got uh, the light that came with it i don't know i didn't really like it it was when i was saying it was too strong it was hard lighting me myself up like when i'm filming like this but the light was so like intensely strong on the eyes so it's very hard having it so close to the lens and you're looking like into the lens you will get blinded i think that's it for this whole video it's would i recommend buying gopro hero 11 yeah i think so it's it's a good camera yeah it's easy to use for someone that just want to do quick films if you're looking into get it for like vlogging i think it's it does a great job it's not bad if you wanted more cinematic you would definitely go with a dslr camera the gopro is probably way cheaper than if you're buying a, a good dslr or mirrorless camera thank you so much for watching i hope you liked this video as much as i like making it subscribe to the channel so i can see you in the next video Hold on.